Finding some of Forza Horizon 5's barn finds can be mega tricky, but this video is going to make your lives much easier when it comes to tracking down these beautifully designed cars. First up, we've got an absolute icon, the 1953 Chevy Corvette. Now, if you've got no idea what a barn find is, don't worry, because I'm going to walk you through all the steps to grabbing them, including locations and some tips and tricks to track them down if you still want to try and do them all on your own. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your map and actually head to these areas called Barn Find Rumors, which look like these sort of purple circles on the map with a question mark on them. Once you're there, you actually need to go into your menu to pick out the drone mode. Now, this thing is going to be crucial if you're trying to find the barn finds on your own, but don't worry, we're going to show you the exact pinpoint locations for every single one throughout the video if you'd just rather get them done out of the way. In drone mode, you can see you can actually just fly around quite a large distance away from your car itself, and this is a really handy way of finding the actual barns themselves, especially ones that are like tucked between trees or just uh, behind sort of mountainous areas as well, hiding behind rocks and things like that. Drone mode comes packed with a turbo feature, which really lets you fly across the map at high speed, which is great for covering distance and finding the barns. Once you've spotted the barn itself, you'll see that the purple map icon actually changes to this gray one with the exact pinpoint location of the barn itself. The next thing you need to do is literally just drive right up to it. Eventually, you'll trigger a cutscene uh, where you guys will open up the doors to the car. It will show you how rusted out and all battered and broken it looks, but after a little bit of time's passed, you'll get a call telling you that your car is ready to drive. The Corvette itself might not be the fastest car out there, but it's actually a beautiful little motor that just looks brilliant driving through the cities at night or wherever you happen to take it. Next up, you're going to want to go to the northwest area of the map, and we're going to be looking for quite a uh, an old school motor, I have to say, but one that's definitely worth picking up anyway if you're looking to complete your car collection. Again, head to this circle on the map, use your drone to just zip around the desert a little bit, and eventually you should stumble upon the barn itself. Head to this exact pinpoint on the map if you're struggling, and you should see yourselves finding the 4-litre Export 1968 Renault. Yeah, I know it's not the most glamorous thing out there, but, you know, you need to take this one off your list. Head a bit east of there and you will find the next vehicle, which I have to admit is a bit more exciting, especially if you're keen on rally racing. Opening up the doors to this barn and we've got a BMW and it is the 2002 Turbo 1973, which, you know, originally I suppose it needs a bit of a tune up, but I reckon once you've got this thing dialed in, it is going to be perfect for some of those rally races. It's definitely got a lot of potential. Further east and we're going to be looking for another seriously powerful engine. Once you head to this exact pinpoint location on the map, you should be opening up the doors to your brand new Mustang GT 2 plus 2 Fastback. This car is absolutely iconic, especially if you're a fan of a pair of detectives on TV. Again, we're heading east further out to the coast. This one uh, is going to be very exciting because this is actually probably the most valuable car out of the entire collection. Incredibly rare. This might just be a cult classic. Of course, whipping out that drone was super handy in finding this one because I don't know why there were just tons of different houses around the area themselves and I just could not distinguish which one was the right one I was looking for. Eventually found the barn find itself and there we go. Cheeky little find getting the uh, 1962 Ferrari GTO. Now we're sort of heading to the opposite end of the scale because this next one's far more of a utility vehicle, but again, it's still quite a handy one to pick up if you're looking to get all those achievements and barn finds. Nearer to the motorway this time, and we're going to show you the pinpoint location, but it isn't too far from the previous barn that we just visited. Once you drive up to this one, you're going to be staring into the face of a, uh, well, a little pickup truck, basically. It is a uh, 1956 F100 from Ford. Yeah, it's a little banged up and battered, but you know what? It's probably going to make for some pretty cool photos, and I bet it would look wicked jumping off of a ramp. Okay, now we're really hitting up close to the east coast itself and sort of nearer to the swamp area slightly. Heading a bit closer to the actual beach itself now and we're going to be finding a F40 Competizione from Ferrari, which is probably one of the more exciting vehicles on this list purely because it is mega speedy without any tuning needed whatsoever. Heading slightly west now for the next one up and uh, this one's pretty cool as well. And yes, I did just fast travel, but you know what? I got credits to burn, so why not? Here is the exact location for the next barn find that you need, and this one is a Dodge Viper ACR. Yes, beautiful. I mean, this probably has one of the most aggressive looking hoods I've seen on a car to date. And you know what? I bet this one's going to be perfect for people who are looking for a new drift motor as well once it's tuned up. Okay, heading out a little bit more west, and we're actually going to double down on the Dodges with the barn finds because we're looking for the Dart Hemi Superstock. 
This one looks kind of weird. It literally looks like two front ends of a car welded together. But you know what? I bet once it's upgraded, it's probably decent at drifts or even drags. Okay, next up, you're heading south more towards the river area, and this next car is going to be perfect for people who just love an off-road adventure or just love a bit more of the uh, dirt tracks with some rumbling, bumbling action. Once you roll up, you're going to stumble upon the GMC Jimmy. Yes, it's called Jimmy. I don't know why. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know. So this one's located right next to one of the bigger drag strips on the map, tucked away in the south, and once you head past this cargo plane, you'll see the barn right in front of you. Now, I was pretty excited about this one because I've had a few Jaguars in my garage and they've all been pretty decent stock, but I was especially blown away by the Sport XJR15. Literally, I was just blazing through people on the track. It was so, so easy to drive, just really fast and powerful for its class and for its type. So if you're looking to get into street scene and you want sort of an old school motor to drive around, this is definitely the one to pick up. It handles beautifully around bends. It's really great at keeping up its pace. It's just a beautiful car. Okay, the next car is going to be a must-have because I guarantee you not before long that this is going to become one of the metas for off-road racing. You definitely have to pick this bar and find up if that is what you're into. Once you roll up, you're going to be looking at the Baja truck. And if you've played Forza Horizon 4, you'll know just how good this car was in that game. And trust me, it still holds up. I'm literally leapfrogging over someone else in the competition right now. It is that easy. Okay, just two more to go. Both of which are sort of located either side of the Gran Caldera Volcano. And right here, the first one we're going to look at is the Ford Escort. Not just any Escort, though. This one is primed and ready for rally. Here's the exact location on the map. Once you drive up there, you're going to claim it. And for the final one in the video, we've got something pretty special. I know a lot of you guys are going to make this one your favorite, but we've got a Porsche 911 Carrera RS. Again, could be perfect for rally, but this has got every opportunity to become a brilliant drag car if you tune it just right. It looks pretty banged up and in bad shape now, but once you give it a lick of paint, it's going to look as good as new. Now, once you've picked up a bunch of these barn finds, you do still have to do the job of waiting around for them to get restored. But honestly, just go and play Forza Horizon 5. Enjoy the massive Mexican adventure that it is. And eventually those barn finds will become unlocked for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope this video was helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of our Forza Horizon 5 videos in the future. Bye.